We got a bunch of new stuff going on today. I have moved the 6200 into a smaller case. You guys have seen the little tiny backpack that I have for the antenna counterpoise wire and the coax and everything that's in there. And then we're gonna run the spool tenna. This one was the hit of Dayton. This is model number 67. And fed half wave, rolls up on the spool, BNC connector on the end. We're gonna make it happen. One of the things you're gonna need with the spool tenna is some kind of axle and the owner's manual says you should probably have a screwdriver. I think I have a screwdriver in my toolkit. Let's go back to the bike and take a look. Screwdriver unlocked. The way the owner's manual suggests that you do this and the way the common logic suggests that you do this is to toss a line into a tree and haul up the end of it, or use a mast and put the end of the antenna at the top of the mast and then have this spool down by your radio. But you guys have seen me on this channel before. I don't do common logic, I don't do common sense. I do something a little bit different. This is gonna be NVIS. I say Nevis, y'all make fun of me in the comments. You know why I say Nevis? My uncle used to say every word he could backwards and my name said backwards is Nevitz. N-E-V-E-T-S, Nevitz. He could just say entire sentences backwards. Pretty cool guy. It's actually my great uncle, my father's aunt's husband. Uncle Lee, this one's for you. Nevis. Let's go get this thing set up. I'll show you how it works out. All right, we've got a bongo tie here that keeps the spool all wound up nice and tight so it doesn't come apart while you are doing your thing. There is a BNC connector here that you connect to your radio. There's a banana socket here for your banana plug for your antenna wire. And then if you wanted to, you could put your counterpoise on any one of these four holes here. Remove the screw, screw down your counterpoise, put the screw back on. I'm gonna try it without a counterpoise. I don't know how well it's gonna work out. But you know, again, not common logic here. The end of the antenna wire has a nice little loop put into it for you. I'm gonna find a convenient tree branch, a little twig sticking out of the side, and then we're good to go. There we go. Turn that down a bit. So I always say, what would this look like if it was easy? Let me show you easy mode. I brought my clamp on the handlebars of the bike and I'm just using that to kind of hold the antenna up in the air a little bit to get it over top of the wall over there. And then I've got the coax going up. I've got the choke behind the clamp. It's going out that way and coming back. And then I have no counterpoise. I'm running the Denco battery to get me the full eight watts out of the 6200. And check this out. This is the SWR scan. We're probably four feet off the ground on 20 meters flat across the board. This is easy mode. But this antenna does four bands, 40, 20, 15, and 10. Let's look at 40, because 40 is probably gonna be the, the hardest one and also the most Nevis. That's right, I said Nevis again. 40, let's go down to more of the middle of the band. Right about there, SWR scan, start. And what you're looking for is that yellow line that goes across the bottom that dead flat across the bottom is one-to-one -one SWR. And we're dead flat across the bottom, one-to-one -one SWR. I love it. Let's try 15. Oh. Zygoo bug. Hey, look, we're still flat across the band. I have to exit when I do that. Let's go to 10. 10 is always a weird one on these antennas. There's a little bit of SWR, but not much. All right, I'm going back to 20 because that's my home. And we're going to get this park on the air. It's Kevin, right? Hey, Kevin, how's it going? Tio here. I got you 5-9 in Colorado. Roger, roger. Uh, good afternoon, Steve. You're 5-9, five, 5-9 nine, five, nine as well in Illinois, and my park is US-1001. One. So that is Colorado to Illinois. Those are all over the back, and I had to, and Mama wouldn't be on the flight, and I'd have to sit up.
into the band there. One of the things I like about the 6200 is that it has this band plan up here at the top, so I can pretty easily tell where I am. Let's go do a spot. Find a clear frequency and do a spot. CQ Poda, CQ Poda, CQ Parks on the Air, CQ Poda. This is Kilo Mike 9 Golf, KM9G, calling CQ Parks on the Air from US 1244. Kilo Mike 9 Golf, QRZ. 59 in Colorado. Copy the 54 Central Texas. Thank you for the contact, 73. 73. This is Kilo Mike 9 Golf, QRZ. So this is the 13 Colonies weekend, and I bet with this being 13 Colonies, everybody's busy trying to get a full, clean sweep on that instead of doing parks on the air. However, a lot of the 13 Colony stations are at parks. So there. The Echo Bravo, you are 59 into Colorado. Copy, and you are 59 into Western Oregon. Good, strong signal. All right, copy the 59 into Oregon. Thank you for the contact, 73. Papa, take in November. Mike 5, Sierra Papa, and you're a 45, 45 in New Mexico. Copy the 45 New Mexico from New Mexico 5, Sierra Papa. I'll give you a 59 in return from Colorado. Tango. Whiskey 0, Mike Oscar Tango, 59, Colorado. November Tango 6, Delta X-Ray, 5-9 in Colorado. Roger, roger, 5-5, five, five, Charlie Alpha, USL. Copy the 5-5 five, five in California. Thank you for the contact, 73. Oh, Quebec. Victor Echo 7, Sierra Hotel, Quebec, 5-9 in Colorado. Roger, roger, you're 5-7 into BC, over. Copy the 5-7, British Columbia. Thank you for the contact, 73. I uh, copy the 48, Renee. Good to work you. Good to get you on the on the air. Good to get you in the log. Thanks for the contact. Enjoy the rest of your activation. 73. 73. Have a great weekend. We'll see you at Montesano. US 1172. 1172. And you're about a 4 and 3. 4 and 3. All right. I copy US 1272. And I copy 4-3. I need your call sign, please. All right, I copy the Whiskey 6 Alpha Alpha Mike, and I got you 5-9 into my park, US 1244 in Colorado, QSL. Uh, QSL, QSL, thanks for the 1244, just watched the video last night. Uh, thanks for the uh, Whiskey 6 Kilo Sugar Charlie. This is Kilo Mike 9 Golf, QRT. All right, so you undo the banana plug here. That goes so bad, actually. Well, at least we bought it. And then undo the BNC connector for the antenna. Okay. And we're going to start winding her up again. Okay. And then to make this easy, there is a notch around the BNC where you can put this little loop right on there. Like so, to make it easy to wind up. Now just get it started. And there's a little spin control here. Put your axle in the center hole and start winding. So now we're going to get into that whole over-under debate thing. Which way is better, going over the spool or under the spool? done and then there is like I said this little bongo tie that comes with it and find your end put the rubber band around it and you are good to go the spool tenna and that rubber band is actually going to be pretty useful for tying this thing off to a tree or a stake or something like that this is PCB material and it is open source hardware and your toroid is wrapped around the center. You've got a BNC connector there. Like I said, spots for counterpoise if that's your jam. Spot to put in your antenna wire. You can obviously switch this out for an even longer antenna wire to get you on 80 meters, or you could make a linked and fed half wave if that's what you like. But there you go, the spool tenna. Okay, so that's 10 in the log. Let's see, my first contact was Illinois at 1656 and my last contact was he says Kentucky but he's got a six call I doubt it was Kentucky that would be hard but 
either Kentucky or California. I'll take either one of those two for running NVIS. And that was 1812. So 16 to 18 is two hours. Technically 1656, so 1700 to 1812, an hour and 12 minutes to get 10 contacts in the log. So it works. I'm up on a mountain. That might have something to do with it. I'm running horizontal. You guys saw how the antenna was set up. Just get the antenna on the air. It doesn't matter how you get it in the air. It matters that you get it on the air. And this antenna, I definitely ran it away that it wasn't supposed to be ran. I ran it horizontally about four feet off the ground and it did fantastic. This is the spool antenna. This was the charm of Dayton 2025. Everybody was getting one of these when I was at Dayton. I didn't get a chance to get to the booth because I was working a different booth at the time. I'm running the 6200 and the spool antenna did fantastic. There will be a link in the description down below for where you can get your own spool antenna or where you can get some more information. These things even come with their own birth certificates and it has been tested. It tells you how high off the ground it was tested. It tells you what the signal report was, signal report, what the scan of the band was where it did the test. So you can see where all the dips are across the four different bands that it works, 40, 20, 15, and 10. So let's totally discount that that six call was actually in Kentucky and let's say they were in California. From Colorado to California to Illinois as far north as Oregon, as far south as Texas. Don't be afraid to just get your antenna in the air. Can you guys help me do it? Hit that subscribe button right below the video. Doesn't cost you a cent, but it makes me happy and gets me closer to my goal. And I greatly appreciate each and every one of you for helping out. There's a video right over here I think you'll enjoy next. Thanks for being awesome. I'll see you over there.